Hello and welcome back. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be going over um, making um, the maps for the gun, like normal maps on AO. Um, so basically, first thing first is I got a couple of end guns on the low poly. Um, I tried this earlier, and I realised I have. Um, some end guns, so I'm going to run mesh lint for, um, quickly. Um, mesh lint is actually a add-on for Blender. I highly recommend getting it. It's a lifesaver. It pretty much shows you where um, bad topology is. Um, but so I've got two um, end guns. I'm going to just turn them into triangles. So now zero end guns. Cool. Uh, I'm going to unhide the high poly and uh, what I'm going to do now is get rid of this window and I'm going to hit N and get my tool shelf back up and start showing um, screencast keys again and if you roll all the way up to the top if you move the high poly in object mode you will see this um, long um, the Y and you're able to hit zero if you're in object mode and it does overlay it. If not, you're going to have to probably um, turn snapping on it and just oh, try and actually get it lined up. That I'm going to set that to zero, like so. And basically, what we're going to want to do is export both of these out as a FBX. And I'm gonna tick um, select a uh, selected object. So whatever object I've got selected uh, was I got the high poly selected here. So if I go back into export, select that, it will only export uh, that object out. Um, going over to um, this tab here, and I'm gonna set edge. I don't know if that even matters, but. I'm doing it. Oh, and I'll rename this to um, HP for high poly. And we will, pull it. we will export out the low poly now as well. Let's call that LP. Low poly. And. Alright. I don't like um, baking maps in Blender at all because I'm dyslexic and I get um, very confused what way I had to bake. Like I'm, I'm always getting confused with um, what one do I need to select first. So, you know, I, I prefer the output as well with um, what I get with um, X Normal. I, I feel like I get a lot more settings. I have a lot more maps I can um, export out. So going to be using this. Um, basically first thing first is drag your high poly onto um, your high poly default uh, default mesh and same thing for low poly for the low poly. Um, baking we want to bake a normal map AO map um, we could bake a curvature map but that didn't really work very well, um, and it don't it, it, it curvature map don't actually work with your um, video card. So this this if you got um, CUDA um, and and I hear this is um, and Fidger's card. I'm not sure what AMD would look like. Um, that would this one here is your CPU. Um, your your fidget card will render faster, but you won't have anti aliasing. Uh, so to make up for that, just render in higher um, quality. So let's say you want to render in um, 1024, just render in. Um, eight, well, if you want your texture 1024, uh, render in um, 2048, and then just shrink it down. Um, so I'm going to just bump this up to um, 8K for now, and. Um, Quickly, if we go down to tools, if we tick on, click this and hit go on it, give this a little while to um, calculate the um, 
edge well I, I think it calculates where the vertex is on it it just makes it more accurate and if you click um, copy uh, once you hit stop if you click um, copy results it will copy them results um, so I'll do that and that will happen and close that um, don't look like it really done much but it actually changed the settings in here um, set what, where you want to save and n name it whatever you want and we'll do that and if we do generate maps it will start generating the maps like so there's our normal map All right. um, once the normal map is completed I'm gonna quickly track it on uh, the model um, there, there's a like, every, every time I do normal maps there's always errors and stuff what just need um, cleaning up a little bit um, I know I, I did a render earlier and um, I know this is going to be an issue um, maybe some of this other stuff as well but once this is done, we'll chuck it into Blender. Alright, okay, cool. We'll chuck it in Blender. Uh, so we just hide our high poly. We don't need to see that at all, and it doesn't have any UV um, coordinates on it. So basically, I'm going to go into texture mode, and I'm going to add this type of light. Um, they don't look nice, but just bring it out. Yeah. Did I add a point light? Is it texture? Oh, it's material mode I want to be in. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so basically we'll go over, we'll make a new material. Uh, I'm going to just turn the um, specular down. Specular down. Um, I'm going to hit new on texture. We're going to open up a normal map. And when you bring this in, it it automatically sets it default to um, color. We don't want that, but um, that's a you know you can kind of see where the issues are on here as well. So basically, in here we're going to need, need to clean up. Um, and just move that light around. I'm going to move it onto that side. Okay, it's all dark on that side. Don't know why, but. Um, uh, you, you know we've got some issues in here just clean that up as well um, so there, there's some clean up um, needing to be done but basically this part here is looking pretty pretty sweet I like it All right. but basically once we've got the normal map in we will pretty much um, set up so we'll just turn colour off we'll turn normal map on we'll turn normal on down here um, under uh, image sampling, um, just tick this box and you'll see your normal map jump up like so. Oh, oh, right. And okay, we can now see we've got some issues under here. Um, we can also import. We might well import our AO as well. So we'll just import our AO like so. Um, really don't know what AO really goes on um, maybe it goes on here uh, just yeah um, looks a bit better on colour if you ask me uh, well that's going to be how I'm going to see the issues with it but um, for now let's focus on the normal map so I'm going to just Focus on normal map. So there's some cleanup what needing needing to be done. So we'll open up our normal map in Photoshop. Um, so just give this a minute. Did I render what did I render it out as? Uh, did I? Uh, okay, I rendered out as 4K. So actually, this can. We could make it smaller, but yeah, why not? All right, we're going to just make it smaller. Um, 
so basically what I'm going to do is go to image image size and get rid of this window here all right so I'm always getting confused with the numbers at right. 4k is um, 4096 so just put 4096 in here and it will make it 4k and we're going to have to zoom into that a little bit all right. Um, and we've got some issues we need to clear up in here so we may as well do that as well um, I'm going to actually make a new layer Just drag that down uh, okay and I'm going to get the eyedropper and I'm just going to get the base color for the normal map but it's pretty much this color or this color down there and I'm literally going to paint bucket this um, new layer right. and we basically got some issues around here we can we're going to want to get rid of um, so basically what I'm going to do is go into lasso lasso tool and it cut this up away and it w really would help if you're on the right layer um, I'm still on the um, background I don't want to be on, I want to be on the normal map. Just be careful with this as well, you know, just take your time. Uh, I'm going onto our normal layer here and I'm going to just delete that, like so. And with this, I'm going to literally move this up. Uh, okay, that's not going to work. So I'm going to undo that. Um, okay. Can I just... Uh, you can't just move your selection like that. Uh, that's a shame. But oh, well, it is what it is, isn't it? So just do the same for this one. And if we want to see results inside Blender, all we have to do is save this over our other normal map. And then, uh, oh. Again, just making a big mess here. Oh. So basically, we'll just save this over our other normal map. And we'll just reload it in Blender and it isn't actually we won't have to go through all that process again we actually got to re reload um, thingamajiggy so if I do save and um, I'll save as a PNG um, uh, yeah um, hang on you know what what I want to do just in case I mess up I'm going to just put a X on this if it lets me yes brilliant nice okay um, and I'm just going to take the X off here because somehow I named that as well. I'm going to save that. Now I've got a backup of um, what I'm working on just in case I break something in here. And if we go over to um, Blender, um, we just click on our normal map here and we can do refresh. And you'll just see some of these errors go away around the edges here. But we've still got this problem around here. So how do we locate that? We just basically select that. If we go into the UV editor, uh, where are you? There you are. Alright, I'm going to hit N to get rid of that window. Um, so basically, we got, where are you? Alright, okay, that's a big problem up here. So basically, we'll bring this up. 
So this here is our problem. So we can get rid of this as well. Um, I don't know what this stuff is, so I'm going to quickly check if that stuff is needed. Um, okay, there's some issues along here as well. We can pretty much get rid of them as well. That, that's pretty nice. And okay, yeah, it's we've got issues along here so we, we, we're going to get rid of that stuff we don't want it um, so basically I'm going to just use a rec paint tool and just select this probably would have been a little bit better to be honest to actually do this before you shrink the image down as it have kind of blurred the edges a little bit so yeah do that first actually do, yeah uh, so I'm gonna get rid of stuff up here pretty sure it's all of that stuff what is this round thing? Okay, do we have round thing there? Don't know. Don't see a round thing. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to save this out quickly. Uh, no, I don't want to save it in Photoshop format. Please remember what I want to save it as. PNG. Would be a nice feature if it actually remembers what you want to save it as. Uh, um, so to go back in, we'll make sure it saved. We we'll go back in here, and we just do load, and that issue have disappeared. So we don't have that issue anymore. And okay, cool. This is looking a lot. Uh, this is actually looking a bit better as well. Um. So we've got some issues down here as well. Uh, so I'm guessing it from all the way along there. Um, so we'll just remove that stuff as well. Go back to Photoshop. Um, okay, so... Another thing what would be good as well is if we do... Um, UV and export um, UV layout and we can actually save this um, here's the size and what we are is 4096 and we we'll just copy that over to the other side um, and we we'll export that out quickly and now we can actually open this up in blender as well um, uh, why didn't you yeah, right. I'm going to deselect that quickly hit ok on to that um, why aren't you showing up? Come on, why are you not zooming in or anything? Oh. Seriously? Photoshop? Alright. Okay. Just try and merge this down to a new layer. Um, that's odd. Okay. Oh, I think 
we actually select the SAP and then export it out. There we go. All right, yeah. Okay, cool. So now we can just drag this into here. And it's super, super tiny. We don't want that. We want... Oh. Okay, we're going to have to export it out again. It didn't remember the sense. So, 4096 is my resolution. So I'm going to export that out yet again. Right, come on. Like so. And um, now we just bring this into here. Bingo. Alright. Now we can actually see a bit more clearer what we are working with. Um, so I'm going to just make a new layout underneath it and just merge it down because that'll work that way uh, uh, so basically I think this is a issue we was having um, so I'm going to quickly select this loop here um, okay so it was this square as well these two and all the ones here so we can have a look at that site. Alright, so I'm going to select the rectangle tool. Make sure I've got the normal map selected. I'm going to get rid of this. Alright, got rid of that. Uh, I think I got rid of. <laughs> I needed to get rid of this earlier. So I'll just get rid of this now. Like so. Alright. I'll move over here. And here's our problem. Just come down. Get rid of that. Like so. Um, Going to turn that layout off quickly and save it out and reload it into Blender. You're saving, saving. Okay. So just reload. Watch this. Let's suck here. This suck should disappear. Okay. Cool. Alright, we've still got some issues up here. Alright, so... You're saying there's some up here. Some down there. So it's basically them two parts. Um, if you have uh, dual monitors, this is perfect. <laughs> Put blend on one. And, um, yeah, you're able see both but yeah got time on another one so can't quite do that at the moment um so turn on that again as well all right that helps um all right um Okay, we have an issues here, so basically I'm gonna hmm. go and let's see it. Like so. Delete that. No. Thank you. Right, um, turn this back on. 
we got another one of these down here. I believe it's this edge here. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Uh, lassu, lassu. Uh, and we're going to kinda delete this as well. And if we need to kind of sort some of these out, we can actually select some and just move, um, duplicate them and move them around as well. As it as it is actually more, <laughs> it's actually round. So it'd be a good idea to do that. Um, I could save this out. Again. Yes, yes. Reload. Okay, come on, Photoshop, save. There we go. Uh, that that issue's gone. Um, open any other issues. We haven't issues in, that, in places that really don't matter at all for me. Um, but yeah, it's still good. Uh, kind of go now, I guess. Clean it up. Um, oh. Okay. We got issues here anyway. Um, so I'm going to select these two. Right. Um, so basically, along there. Right. And we'll just go over there. Um, okay, seeming as all this is just. Yeah, it's just something overlapping here. Don't know why, but we don't even need that. I can boom. Respect this as well. Get rid of that. All right. Any other issues we haven't? If you don't feel like doing this as well for the um, AO map, you can convert nor normal maps into AO. I believe there is a Nfidia plugin for Photoshop that can do that. Um, so yeah, I'll, I will link that inscription if I can if I can find it. It is a pretty old tool. I'm not even sure if it's still around. Right, and we've got issue here, so we just get rid of this as well. So, there's that, that's top left, uh, third one. Photoshop, right. Let's enable this. Oh, it was enabled. Right, so, kind of. Cuts off as well. All right, that's fine. So we'll just basically hide that a second. Okay, this up here, you know, you don't see any color there. So, um, but yeah, if I turn the background off, it did color in. So plenty of them normals, but this this piece here that's going, hey, I'm special. I want to be noticed. So you just. Notice it and get rid of it. We don't need it anymore. All right. Any other issues? We can spot. Oh, All right. Okay, we've got an issue in here. Now just locate it. it. It's just repetitive stuff, you know. Just same thing over and over. Um, where is this? That's right, uh, uh. Yeah, again, you can kind of see it as well. It's like 
the only odd piece. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Let me turn that off. You can... Okay, I'm guessing there's some issues as well along. Yeah, you can kind of see this uh, line as well. We just fix that up as well. Pretty much we can. Um, might well just select the whole thing and de delete it. There's all this stuff isn't important. But if if you do come across stuff that you need to fix and it needs to stay there, but yeah, it isn't blending in, just use the clone tool, or just you, you can end up sm you can smear it as well. That could help um, make it fit a bit better. So I'm going to just save this out and quickly see how we're getting along. Um, so I'm going to save and uh, PNG, yes, and yes. Uh, we're kind of going over time here, so I guess I guess you can kind of, you got the idea of what to do. You know, you 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 find the areas you have in on the model, and you go back and you fix it up. And boom, it's gone. All right, we still got a little bit down here. What we're going to have to fix? Where yeah, where yeah. Come on, show yourself. All right, you know, it does. I don't know. I don't even understand half this stuff. Sometimes it's like, you know, why are you even having problems? You know, what? Look, you you flat, and you just don't like your neighbour or something. You know, the same. Um, but basically, um, yeah, it's just, don't want to behave, do it? Uh, um, well, uh, easier blaming the tool than yourself, I guess. <laughs> um, I am probably am doing something wrong, or this is just the way it is. Uh, great, yeah, come on. Alright, put your ass around it. Okay, uh, unhide, uh, no, not that, the background. Um, select this and delete it. No, same for the other side. Like so. Boom. Uh, the AO might be a bit different. I haven't really, I you know, I don't really do this stuff. I just kind of run and go with it. Um, occasionally, I need to clean things up. But, uh, you know, I don't, norm I don't normally have to clean up this much. Um, but I suppose. Okay, I left the UV seams on. Um, so just saved it so again, and I'm probably about wrapped it up. Um, but you know, you you get you get a, a sample. You know, just uh, locate the problems, either um, delete and fix them. You know, either delete them or try and patch them in using them. Um, the clone stamp tool, you know, up here, if you don't click the, this little icon and you hold down Alt, I will show you um, what I'm talking about. All right, so if I say, if I click Alt, this little crosshair comes up, you do click and you get paint, whatever you see, two crosshairs now, you get paint the one below, but it don't always work like that, you can do it from side to side as well. So you can kind of blend things in, or you can try and um, smear it. Uh, is, hang on, that is that burn? That's dodge and burn. Uh, well, you know, you can kind of smear. They you know, like, uh, kind of, you know. So mixture of them. You know, you can kind of get the normal map working correctly. So let's have a look what we got. We've probably got some more errors. I'll probably clean it up, and. Um, you know, 
I'm not. I'm not going to bother doing AO. It might. I might. If there's a, I, I've never done it with AO. So you know, if the AO is different, then I'll. I guess I'll do it. Um, but I might not. You can always just bake the um, normal into a, um, AO anyway. So yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this, um, uh, stay stay tuned for some more. Um, Till then, happy modelling and um, catch you later.